I'm not joking, all my guys, them, them love me. Since 06, I've been writing this story. I know be OG, but if you ask them, them love me. I know they blow trees, so you know you mean love me. Music shows me, just no this and no peace. I they love me, but I'm never low. Family frozen trees. When it comes to money, I they concentrate. We got the streets, you are not my mate. If you become a shop, I'll be head of state. But my people then go say, I don't want to buy. I don't want to die. I don't want to I want to enjoy. I want to jump life. I want to buy motor. I want to build house. I still want to know. What's it going to be? Do you want to go? Oh, depending. The girl in the room. Right. I know you. Surprise! How are you? Come 
The next day.
Hello guys, so this is my first morning in Cameroon. I woke up by the sound of the chicken. The chicken. How do I call it? It was singing. Oh, play the sound. <laughs> Imagine you can't hear that in your world, guys. You can't even hear in the UK. Like, how will you wake up by the sound of a chicken? Um, be for real. I'm so far. I'm so far away. I'm in a different continent. This is unreal, guys. This is unreal. Later on, me and my family were going to go ahead and colorful and get some you know essentials we're gonna shop some errands we're gonna get like the basics to a level and yes thing to maintain us in our hotel guys this is what i'm surviving with cameroon is too hot i'm not this celebrated it is too hot okay so now we're heading to colorful i went even have my makeup on because what's the point of makeup with this heat there's no point. Day two. She's cooking. Want to make stew? Stew. Easy. In a box. Yes. And this is kind of hot. It's a bit hot. Wow. That's nice. Yes, my other auntie. Auntie Mirabel, say hi. Hi. Say hi, guys. Hi. Mama, say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Auntie, what are you making? I'm arranging Wow. Okay. And yes, mom. Mom, say hi. Hi, guys. 
day three. Hi guys, so this is day three in Cameroon. Yesterday I didn't vlog, I didn't do much. Yesterday was pretty much sorting out the um, changing my SIM card, data, having a connection because yeah, the internet is so slow. So yeah, yesterday that's what I was doing. Today I think we, today I'm visiting my uncles, aunties, I'm visiting, seeing my people. I don't know if I'm going to vlog. The reason I don't vlog is because I can't be holding my phone like this and be vlogging. I didn't even bring my camera because, no, I'm just recording on my phone. So if I can't vlog, this is the reason. I can't be walking in this street in Africa with this. So I'll try my best. So far, my journey in Cameroon has been. How do I say it? I miss. And I, oh. What? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? It's been day three, guys. I miss Europe. Life in Africa is not the easiest. Let me leave that there. Guys, I don't know if I've said this before, but I haven't been in Cameroon in 16 years. It's pretty much embarrassing. Like, when I'm seeing my best friends, my travel best friends, my uncles, my aunties, they're just like, why do you come here? I have no excuse. I have no excuse. But I'm here now. Day four. Hey guys, so it's day four in Cameroon, and today I'm pretty much doing a lot. Today I'm pretty much doing a lot. So first thing first, I'm going to go and get a manicure. I want to get my toes done. That's first thing. Second of all, I'm going to go to the hair salon, and then later on this afternoon we are traveling to Bonaberry. I'm going to go and get like. I want to get a kaba and the Cameroonian traditional clothing. So, yeah, we're traveling there to get on the design we want to do because they're not gonna like fix it all at once, they're gonna take like a week. So, today I'm just going to go and give them the design I want them to make. And yes, go traveling to Bonamberry. That is like our drive. No, that is like 30 minutes drive in the car from Douala. Fun facts about Douala, guys, Douala is so big. I'm telling you, all we do is travel. Like, I can't walk. The city is very big. I waste all my money in taxi because the distance to get to places is far. So I waste all my money in taxis. Another fun fact about Douala, about Cameroon. Well, let me say in Douala because right now I'm living in Douala. It gets it gets dark pretty quickly like when it's 6 p.m. Yeah, me out 6 p.m. Places looks like it's 11 p.m. Be for real.
Yeah, the looks are wonderful. <laughs> 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 Later that same evening. Everything you need is in Santa Lucia. I just gotta say that this store is my best, my favorite so far. in Cameroon today I am getting my pedicure and I'm getting my hair done like yeah next time you see me you're going to see me with a different hairstyle let's go One eternity later. Early the next morning. Hello, blood. Good morning. So it's day six in Cameroon and. Yesterday guys, I did my hair 
I'm in pain. Like something about doing your hair in Africa, you have lots of benefits and one disadvantage. The benefit is that faster because if you go to a salon, um, more than one person to get your hair done and it's cheap. The advantages of doing your hair in Africa is that it's very cheap and there are multiple women in the salon doing your hair so it's going to be like really really quick so yeah I really like that. The negative part is the pain guys. I'm in pain. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. My hair hurts. This hair is so long. It's the longest hair I have ever done in my entire life. It's so long. Um, today, I pretty much have no plans. It's raining. It rains every single day. Today, is more like staying at home, chilling because I got a headache. And I pretty much just want to stay indoors today. <laughs> Just for the record, just for the record. If they like me, they chop at the door, my door, then no go catch up. Uh, oh, you're going to be a no. I'm so plain, be a mouse. You go do your own game, I'm going to be a one time, I'm going to be a mess up. The following day. In day eight, we traveled to Yawunde. We were spending two nights and three days in total. And this is me trying to fit all my stuff in this little luggage, which was mission impossible because I carry so much stuff. But I managed to pack it all. This is my outfit, outfit of the day check. And my mom also wanted to show her outfit. Yay. So we took a coach to Yawunde. 
so from Douala to Yaounde is so long this journey was so stressful and I'll say in total it was like three hours and a half from Douala to Yaounde this is my dad this is my mom say hi hi guys and at the back there are my sisters and now let's travel three hours later It's just every day a different motive, know what I'm saying? Your own day is so nice. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm enjoying myself and whatever. Lorena, come and say hi to my blog. Hi, blog. <laughs> Guys, do we look alike? Maybe she copied my hairstyle. Good, well, we started the hairstyle <laughs> first. She copied my color, guys. Anyway, so yeah. See you guys soon. Oh, Lorena, show them my outfit. Face card never declines. Guys, it's so hot outside, but I don't even know what I'm doing makeup. I gotta look cute. I gotta look cute. For always you guys. slay. Guys, this is one of my uncle's many stores in Yaounde. This is a cosmetic store. It's called Upper Heavens, and it literally have every single cosmetic product essentials that you will need. Let me show you guys around the whole store. If you ever come to Cameroon Yaounde and you are looking for a cosmetic store, Upper Heavens gotcha. They are selling all the goodies and essentials you need. Personally, when I entered the store, I wanted everything. The products are just everything you will need. It is so good and affordable too. If you ever visit Yaounde, you can get in contact with me by commenting down below and I will send you the exact location of the store and also you will receive a good discount from your next purchase hello where are you there free food deal free food eh. for where location
so after spending some few days in Yaoundé we are traveling back to Douala you guys the journey was so long it was four hours drive by coach as you can see me i was exhausted i couldn't i was so tired and the mosquitoes i'm not leaving yaounde by my own look at my arm you guys the mosquitoes hey i had mosquitoes bite on my arm on my nipples on my butt on my back everywhere i couldn't even show you guys because the coach was tired and Basically, I was wearing a long dress, but you know, we move. The next day. Today we are visiting the Grand Mall. I'm, I'm with my friends today. I'll show you guys later on the very commercial. So just be patient. So today I really bang my face because the weather is not that hot today. So I really like put a lot of makeup on to look, you know, glowy. Say hi to my vlog. Hi. <laughs> Say hi. Okay, come on, let's go. Hi. Let's go. This is nice.
Lorena. Ellen. Colin. Colin. No. Twenty four hours later. What to do, babies? Hey guys, so it's day 15, 14. I've lost count, I don't know. But today is my mom's birthday and we are all fully dressed. So whatever. I'm going to show you guys later on an outfit check. My outfit today, I love it. Like it is giving. <laughs> special to her because she is celebrating it this year in Cameroon with her sisters brothers and family back home which she haven't seen them in years guys look at my mom she is go jails <laughs> Later that same evening. <laughs> It's officially day 17 in Cameroon. We're leaving tomorrow. Like, tomorrow we're traveling back to the UK. So, the day before traveling back to the UK, I had an idea to take off my nails. I've had these acrylic nails for about 22 days. As you guys can see from the video, they're all grown and they're not even looking that pretty. And to take off your nails in Cameroon, I spent only one pound and thirty pence, like one pound thirty. And if I took them off in the UK, I would spend twelve pounds. So at the end of the day, you know, Africa is cheap, so I gotta take advantage of this. Day 18 was pretty much packing everything because we were traveling that same evening. I have to pack my luggage, pack food, pack clothing, you know, pack all the essentials. It was not the easiest, but we managed to fit everything. <laughs>
encore le nom de la le nom de l'agence. I wouldn't recommend you using Turkish airline traveling to Cameroon we slept at the airport because our plane was one hour delay so by the time we came the plane was gone this was not our fault and traveling back home to the UK guess what the plane was delayed again by two hours the other airline planes were on time but it's always the Turkey airline which is always late and never arrives on time but this time was not that bad because they offer us a vip section which we had unlimited food drinks and a hotel to spend the night in I'm a word to feel like I'm a soldier Got so much to say but I don't know ya Don't know why they wanna see me fall See me down bad, fuck them all I'm still lit, walking the party and killed it Chopsticks, the bitch don't know how to use chopsticks